Hello YouTube, welcome to new Sin Anatomy video. Today I want to demonstrate how you can connect and map the Akai LPD8 wireless controller to Beatmaker 3. You can also connect any other controller to Beatmaker with the camera connection kit. First step, you must go to the settings and then to MIDI. If you have connected your MIDI controller over the camera connection kit, you will see it here. For MIDI over Bluetooth devices, you must go on the button and press on the button Bluetooth MIDI. Sorry for the big white window, which doesn't look great in this video. Then activate your controller and pair it with the iPad. Instantly you will see that Beatmaker received this message and you can connect it. To mapping now each pad to the right Beatmaker pad, you must check in the MIDI settings the right side. Here you can map every pad to your controller. Just press on it and press your pad on your MIDI controller. You will see that Beatmaker will recognize the CC message and so it will be saved. I will make this now for all the 16 pads. Then you can also map the 8 knobs from the archive controller to Beatmaker. Scroll down and add for example the macro controls to them. Press on the macro control you want to assign and turn the knob on your controller. You will see it will map very easy and directly. A very important workflow feature is that you can save your mappings in a template. On the bottom you have a load and save template function. Let's give the template a name and save it. You can see now that you can reload this template in every session. Let's try out our mappings, if everything works. I hope you understand how the mapping features inside Beatmaker works. If you have a questions, please write them in the comments below. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a positive thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Thanks for watching and for your continued support. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Bye!